Thanks for checking things out, WXYZ.com. I'll tell you what, this weekend is going to be on the chilly side here. and That's the big theme, but also there's a chance for some cold rain to come through. It does look like we'll get it out in time, though, for what's going on over in East Lansing. So clouds sticking up tonight. Uh, there's a chilly wind tomorrow, first from the south, then turning to the west. And that's the cold air continuing to come through here. Some showers around through the day, about a 40% chance. But again, moving out to the east before the game gets started in East Lansing. That means they still could be around the metro area, but not so much in Lansing. Clouds uh, looks like they're going to stick around on Sunday for the most part, but we'll stay dry. Here's a look at the future cast now. We roll things in here to Saturday morning. Again, a few showers coming at us from the west. Most of that system stays to the north, so it's not a definite deal. And then we get later in the day, and it does start to push out and get out of here. The next one is to our north on Sunday. That one's probably more snow, especially from the Saginaw Valley to the north. As a matter of fact, the pattern is setting up that areas in central lower Michigan, northern lower Michigan, have two or three shots at snow next week. All right, here's the football forecast. 8 o'clock kickoff, 38 degrees, clouds then, showers before for the tailgaters, and the clouds break up during the game, and wind chills, yeah, they're going to be in the 20s. You better bundle up or else just sit tight with 70,000 of your closest friends. All right, tonight's forecast down to 33 Mostly cloudy skies. It'll stay dry tonight. South winds around 5 to 15. They pick up tomorrow up to 25 with some of the gusts in the afternoon and evening especially. Uh, tomorrow's high 46. A lot of clouds around. Rain chance again is about 40%. All right, here's your 7-day forecast. Sunday is dry but more clouds than sun, 43. And we got a chance for some rain and snow mixed together on Monday. And again on Tuesday, that's a bit of an interesting day. And temperatures really start to fall at that point. Highs in the 30s by the middle of next week.